Hello everyone and welcome to the Napa Valley Wine Academy WSET Level 2 Wine Info Session and Student Panel Discussion. My name is Desiree Harrison Brown and I am one of the Level 2 instructors at Napa Valley Wine Academy. I am really excited to be here to moderate this conversation. For those of you who aren't familiar, WSET stands for Wine and Spirit Education Trust, and it is globally recognized wine education program that gives certifications to enthusiasts and professionals. Today's discussion is here to help you get a better understanding of what it's like to take WSET Level 2 with Napa Valley Wine Academy and what to expect. We have an awesome panel here with four of my previous WSET level two students, and they will share their experience and insight with you. We do want this to be interactive, so I encourage you to participate in the chat and ask questions, although the first part of the discussion will be me moderating and asking questions, but we'll leave plenty of time to get to your questions in the end. Thank you all for joining us and let's get started. I want to start by introducing our panelists today. Uh, first, we have Will Sarvis, who took WSET Level 2 as a wine enthusiast and passed with distinction. His ultimate goal is to become a winemaker and importer, and he's currently the president of the DMV chapter of the Hugh Society. Thanks for being here, Will. We also have with us Matt Graves, who's a former retail wine manager and now working in sales for a distributor in Knoxville, Tennessee. His passion for wine was sparked by traveling to Italy, and he hopes to be in the wine industry for the long haul. Thanks for being here, Matt. Kisa Moss is another one of our panelists today, and she enjoys exploring wine and expanding her palate and savoring sparkling wine on the weekends. She has a business offering accessories um, and wine education and events. She is WSET Level 1 certified and is planning to take her WSET 2 exam very soon. Lisa. And then finally, we have Teresa, who is a mom of two. She has a 19 and a 14 year old, and she's a volunteer extraordinaire. She loves learning about wine, and she has completed levels one and two with Napa Valley Wine Academy and has passed both with distinction. So thank you, Teresa, for being here. I'm so excited to get this conversation kicked off. And um, I'll go ahead and throw out the first question. Several of you have taken WSET Level 1 with Napa Valley Wine Academy. So I'd love to hear how you decided you were ready to take the next step and enroll in WSET Level 2. So I will throw the first question to Matt.
Teresa, I'd love to hear from you about what it was like to manage your studying while also having two kids and volunteering. How did you balance it all? And what was your study plan like? All right. Hi. Sorry, I was on mute. Sorry. <laughs> um, I actually, uh, my daughter went to college um, last summer, so um, it was her freshman year. So I only had to deal with one kid and stuff like that. But that was kind of crazy in the in between it all. And I would just do it while I was um, while they were at home. Or sorry, while I was at home, they were at school. I would take time, and um, you know, I would just study the books i wrote i made flashcards because that worked for me yeah. um mm -hmm. and i took those quizzes that were at the end of the chapters i don't know how many times because i was determined as well as everybody else on here i was going to get distinctions again and um i was going to get 100 percent if that was possible and so i would just take it until i did and the questions are very similar to um what the actual exam is so that was very helpful knowing that yeah, it's great that you brought up flashcards because I know flashcards is one way that a lot of people study. Um, me personally, I'm not a huge flashcard person and I prefer flashcards that are already completed for you. So the <coughs> skills and drills that National Army mm -hmm. One Academy has is really helpful. So Kisa, tell me a little bit about how you use the skills and drills to help study. Okay, so that portion is like really good. I didn't realize it and I followed directions and waited until I finished the whole course before you skip and start doing that because I was tempted. But I like how it breaks it down because it starts from the grave and then it goes to the region and starts in the labeling. That really helps because I do my own flashcards and I did not separate it that way. And so I was like, okay, this really helps you to see like, do you really have the information? Do you really understand it? So I really like, I'm, I'm still studying. So yeah. I enjoy that part for sure. It's the best. And I still use my own flashcards too. So 